Okay, now that we're done, I'm going to take this out. Which is the core seat die here. This one has the flat base on here, or the flat face on it. Put it to the side. We're going to go ahead, take this point forming die. Reassemble it. So you're going to notice that this is all chewed up here. I'm hard on equipment, but as um, long as the inside of the die is taken care of, not abused, we're fine. All right, we're going to start this in here. We're going to take the nine millimeter swage punch out and put the 40 caliber swage punch in. We're going to loop the bullet again. Sometimes this lube come, gets deposited in the die and gets forced into the jacket and all that. And what's going to happen is when we put the pressure on here, it's going to square off this base real nice. It's going to form the hollow point that we want and we're ready to go. Run it up there and start running the die down until it meets resistance. That's where it's going to start to curve. That Put the ogive on there. Now with the 40 caliber dies, you can make up to a 200 gram bullet. I think you probably make it a little bit heavier, but uh, for this, we're, I'm making a 145 gram bullet, roughly. All right. We're starting to get the, the ogive on there really nice. We're gonna add a little more to it and use a rubber mallet. Don't use a steel hammer on this thing. Run this guy down a little bit more. Almost where we want it. It's a little bit more. Then we're gonna start running the hollow pointing stem down to what the hollow point stem is gonna do, it's gonna force the the hollow pointer in there and it's going to um, expand the core and it's gonna fill out the rest of this jacket. Getting there. Almost. We, on this particular one, since a, the jacket is a little bit shorter, like two tenths of an inch shorter than the ones I made yesterday, I'm probably not going to need to curve the the mouth of this case in. It's like it gets tight. Although I am going to need my pliers to um, force that, that thing down a little more. You feel a cam over. You don't want a huge amount of pressure on there. And there. It's about where we want it. And we're going to go ahead and curl that over a little bit. There's just a little bit of jacket, the stove piping on there, which is fine. We're going to curve that in a little bit. Now every once in a while, a bullet's going to stick in here. It's going to grab the hollow pointer, and all you want to do is pull it up real hard and push it down, and you're done. Let me go ahead and change the camera angle in here. I want to get a close-up of this stem or the uh, the punch and the bullet going in. All right. There's the 
the core jacket combination. Add the pressure to it. Get the old mallet over here. There you have your bullet. Got two more to do. See how, see how nice that is? This is your high pressure die. This is the die that squares everything off, forces whatever gaps are in the jacket to core to leave. There. As you can see, we ended up with a really nice little bullet. You can probably shoot these as is right now. But I just want to curve that in just a little bit and then repoint it again. Here we go. I'm going to change the camera angle and we're going to see how that works. Okay, now that we're done with this, we're going to go ahead and take the point forming die out. There are five bullets. We're going to take the core swage, not the core swage, the uh, swage punch out. We're going to put the the course weights punch in the little curve on there, remember? And we're going to use our core seat die all over again. Same concept. We're going to put it nose down, just like that. I'm going to zoom in on this. And I'm going to show you what what this does and how it's going to benefit you to make the best looking bullet as possible. Remember, this is not about making mass quantities of ammunition or bullets. This is about making better bullets. And if you set up like a Ford production line where you make several thousand jackets at a time and several thousand cores, you can make quite a few bullets in this in a day. You can probably make a couple thousand in several hours. And with the availability and cost of ammunition fluctuating, sometimes this stuff's available and sometimes it's not. This gives you the ability to make a nice quality jacket hollow point that you make to your exact specifications. Okay, if we see this, um, core swage punch has a little hole in there, it's a bleed hole. What we're doing is we're taking this, using the advantage of this concave surface here to form the nose where we want it. Now we don't have to die all the way in. Just have it to where it'll guide itself up. I'm gonna run it down until it hits the bottom of the die. You know when you get there you'll feel it stop. It'll bottom out. Then we're going to lock it into place, just hand tight. If you're making a bunch of bullets, you're going to want to use a wrench to tighten that locking collar into place. And there it is. See how that, that does that? Now we're going to do that to the other bullets. And then we're going to back the die out again. And we're going to use the swage punch to flatten it, and then we're going to repoint it. Yes, it's a long process. There's many steps involved. But you know what? You're going to be really, really happy with the results you're getting, without a doubt. And you can always add more pressure to it if you wanted to. Let's go ahead and do that just to see what happens. Because it doesn't matter, honestly, if this deforms the bullet or turns it back into a cylinder again. And the reason is, what you're going to be doing 
is repointing it in the point forming die. See how that's nice and curved in on there? We're going to flatten that out. Let me put the other one in there that we just did. We're going to flatten it out. And then when we repoint it, the point, the hollow pointer in there is going to curl a little bit of that jacket inwards. It's going to be like an anchor. See that does that? So it goes from this here Okay, now we're done. Now we're going to go ahead and remove this, this one here. And install this one here. We had to back the die out, just a little tiny bit. It's because since this is not concave, it's gonna bring the bullet up a little tighter in there. And it doesn't matter if you put a point up or point down, we're putting a point up. Now it's nice and has a nice flat um, shoulder on there. You can add a little more to it if you want. I'm going to. As long as you're doing the same, once you get your everything set up and you do the same thing, they're all going to come out looking alike and being very, very consistent. There. What you're going to notice is some of the lead has flowed to to a little, uh, make like this fun, funky looking little um, barrier here, and that's going to get all pushed out from the hollow pointing die. So let's go ahead and change the camera angle again. This is going to be the last step of this whole operation. I'm going to have five completed bullets. <laughs> 